Yeah, these are the type of tools to be getting with your lunch money. If you save your lunch money and uh, you take your lunch to work. Um, this is from Anytime Tools. It's not a commercial or anything like that. It's just something I just picked up. I don't know if it's made in China or not. It might be. It doesn't say anywhere where it's made, but <laughs> incredible price. About 50 bucks delivered. But this is a dial indicator and um, has a magnetic mount on it. You can see this is a very powerful magnet here. Ugh. Pretty, pretty weighty too. So you got these different adjustments on it. Comes with its own carrying case, and you can use this for setting up like the differential on a, on a cars, uh, jeeps, trucks, things like that. Sometimes you have to check the backlash. You need a dial indicator. There's different areas where you need a dial indicator for um, doing the mechanical work, but it also comes in handy for a number of different things. But uh, you can't always get in an area where you want to, you can check for um, with a feeler gauge or any other or uh, vernier caliber to see what the distance is. You need to have a dial indicator. So this thing, you can turn the wheel to set it at zero. Um, so it's set at zero, and each time, in each revolution of this uh, meter here goes in thousands. It has a counter down here on the bottom. You can see as it spins around. So, for instance, if I put this screwdriver under here, say for instance we're trying to get the clearance between this was a part or something, you can see it spun around six six times. So, from there we can calculate, you know, ten thousand, twenty thousand, thirty thousands, um, one hundred thousand. So it's six hundred thousands, or um, whatever that is, six hundred thousands. Uh, you know, over half an inch, or six tenths of an inch. I believe that's what it is. So, uh, it's uh, it's a very handy tool to have because um, in a lot of situations, you just can't get in there with a vernier caliber, you can't get in there with a feeler gauge, and it calls for a dial indicator. Now, years ago, these things used to be quite expensive. Now, this could be made in China, I'm not sure, but this is one type of thing you probably do want to get in China from you know for an opportunity just save your lunch money up because a lot of people will blow that money uh, when you go out to eat take your lunch whatever for a month or whatever save your pennies to get something that you could actually um, do something with but this is a very handy tool to have especially if you're doing some weekend mechanic type stuff or um, things that you can actually do on your own that uh, you will not have to require a professional to do because they have the special tools and this thing all fits in a nice small case it breaks down in other words um, this comes apart these uh this comes apart here and you can take the stand off so that comes off and you have a little t-handle goes in the case just like so and then you have this actually goes a little thing there it sits in here like so and also you just disconnect from the dial indicator the dial indicator sits in here you have the other bar sits in here any other uh, uh, swivel apparatus sits in here so you can pretty much move this any way you want and um, very handy very handy very solid base too so um, these are the type of things actually I recommend to get I'm getting a piecemeal here and there and um, you know, sometimes it's a little bit storage room is a problem but with a little case like this is a great thing and it could be a very very handy tool to have so the price on some of these things has dropped. I don't know, you know, I don't know where it's made. It doesn't say, but the thing is, you can get some serious utility out of these type of things for many years. So, you know, maybe you have a tool that's made in China, but, you know, the person that's going to be building with this tool is going to be the person doing the operation. So that means made in USA. So that increases your productivity. So, a little bit of a flip side to everything so but uh you know where you're really wasting money sometimes is on uh just fluff a lot of people are doing a lot of garbage fluff and uh sometimes it pays to get 
things like this because uh, this can come in handy for many years.